hear me out for about two more minutes. If you have a nine to five job and you are just like most Americans, we're grown ass people here. Other people are telling us when we can take a shit. I don't know why that always gets to me, but guys, if you have somebody telling you when you can take a shit and you're a grown adult, there is a problem. We got people telling us when we can go on vacation, how long we can go on vacation, what time of the year we can go on vacation. The obvious one, we got people telling us how much money we can make and how much we're worth. This is how much you're worth because this is how much I'm willing to pay you. People telling us how we can dress. Oh yeah, you can't wear that. You gotta wear the freaking polo. Stop by Dillard's if you need one, but don't ask for a raise. And this is the best part. If you're a good little boy in 40 years, 50 years, maybe, just maybe, we'll give you a measly salary so you can barely make ends meet and you can die in a rest home or an assisted living. Fuck that motherfucker. Like I'm gonna do that. Guys, that's how we're living. I know that sounds like I'm painting this crazy picture, but that is the reality. If you are somebody that is waking up and you're going and clocking in, what happened to the dreams? What happened to, hey, I want to go and travel. I want to do this. I want to accomplish this before I die. What happened to that? And this is what's crazy is we keep doing it. You all keep going to the same job and the same routine and you keep expecting something to change. And we've all heard that cliche analogy of the definition of insanity. That is the definition of insanity. Keep on doing it, baby. You are in this group for one reason. And that isn't because you wanna sit here and listen to me scream profanities. You're here because you know deep down that what you're doing, it ain't it. Guys, you're here because you know that the road that you're currently on, it doesn't lead anywhere that you're gonna be excited about in 20 years. It's not where you wanna end up. That's why you're here. You guys know that if you don't change something, you are going to wake up and you are going to experience the thing that I fear this more than death itself and that is regret. Because we've all experienced that regret of like, oh my gosh, I wish I had done this differently. I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that, but you can't because you didn't. That is the number one thing that I fear. But here's what's freaking dope. We know how to win the game, how to get out of the shit box that we found ourselves in. And I'm saying we, because literally 2019 December, I was in the shit box, $60,000 in debt, barely paying the bills, saying no to vacations, telling my kids we can't go to Disneyland, telling them we can't do the churro because it's too expensive. You got to take the sack lunch into Disneyland, baby. Been there. We know how to win this game. And it's very, very simple. Buy, build, and create cash flowing assets that pay you more than your bills and you have won the game. That's it. Why? Because you've now bought your time back. And if you want to go in and you want to hang the middle finger to your boss, tell him to go pound sand or to eat rocks or to drink cat piss, you can because you no longer rely on the check. And I'm telling you guys, for the first five years of my adult life, I knew that this was the formula. I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. I knew I needed to have passive income because that would mean I didn't have to work. But I thought the only way to create the passive income was to buy physical real estate. And so I started looking at it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to need this many pieces of real estate, which means I'm going to need this many down payments, which means I'm going to need this much money, which means I'm going to need to save, 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 pinch, 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 pinch. And I got to be a saver and I got to be a thrifty, you know, whatever. And I thought that was the only formula. And then then came along this little thing called rank and rent digital real estate, where, let me remind you, we get to build simple sites in these basic niches, rank them on Google, and charge thousands of dollars every single month to forward calls and be a middleman and do whatever we so choose to do. We can escape it. We know it. It's a business model where we own the asset, where we can scale it as big as we want, where we can work from the comfort of our homes and our bottled beverages, or we can do it completely butt ass naked if we want, which I think is pretty cool. Never really done that, but I think it would be dope. So if any of you guys do that, let me know and maybe I'll send you a little piece of merch. Hear me when I say this. If you are somebody that is trading your time for dollars, I don't care if you got a job or you got a business. If you're trading your time for dollars, you are playing a game in which you will never win. And you can work as hard as you want to work. You can get as good at it as you want to get. You can be as efficient as you want. You can raise your fee, this and that and the rest. But until you figure out how to separate your time from 
from your dollars, you will never be wealthy. And I'm here to tell you that road that you're on, that game that you're playing, it is not gonna lead anywhere that you are going to be excited about as I've already said. You know the formula, you know the solution. And if you guys choose to keep on waiting, that's on you. That's cool, man. I'm gonna be over here making millions and millions and millions of dollars and literally showing you the formula because of the what I'm actually doing. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying. Just watch the moves that I'm making.